Alright, uh, just recorded right where we left off. Last episode was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, so that's why I kind of cut it off right there. Um, so we're right off the bat fighting King Dodongo. I noticed I didn't actually put on the Hillian shield, so <laughs> first things first, we're gonna pay putting on the Hillian shield. Accidentally, as well, kind of messed up with the um, so I kind of messed up the um, the fairy part there. Unfortunately. Where is everything? Okay. Jump attack then. Okay. I guess uh, one more si cycle. Sucky sucky. Yep. Junk. There we go. Not that hard, is it? After this one, I think we have to go to the Zora's domain. It's kind of like Ganondorf causes problems for all of them, and then Link is the one that saves them. And then actually Ganondorf takes advantage of that when Link opens the room to the Master Sword, and Ganondorf just goes into the Sacred Realm, right? The Ocarina of Time Ganondorf was so smart, <laughs> compared to the later ones, I think. Or maybe he always was smart. Using the hero to do his uh, stuff. I mean, how cool would it be if Link was actually Ganondorf's son? And that's why he know about it, like how he would act and everything. I mean, it would be very cool if, if Link was Ganondorf's son, and then it would make sense why his mom fled. And also, why Ganondorf knew about him in the first place. Which all goes back to the Ganondorf is actually a good guy theory. 
but he's just corrupted by demise. <laughs> Looking bad at it, right? I don't think Nintendo would plan this far ahead, but I mean, you never know. Yeah. I don't need that rupee though. Got to time it again. Okay, I mistimed it. Ah, dang it. Boom. Great. And I didn't jump for some reason. Hmm. Jump. Why don't you jump? There we go. This is where the cow is. Don't care. Um. I'm not sure if you can speedrun this one. I don't think you can. Nope. Uh, maybe a little bit. It's like the rocks always fall on top of you, right? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. No hearts though. We're almost at the top already. That's pretty nice. Bam. Okay. When I was younger actually, I would go up here and then immediately fly down with the owl without getting the magic powder. It was so stupid, you know? So... That's a miss. I know that was a hit. Just because it didn't watch it doesn't mean it didn't hit it. <laughs> so stupid. I uh, played a great fairy song. The great fairy song is Brussels Lullaby. So for that. <laughs> Childhood, Childhood Crush. <laughs> Am I right? This big pointy guns of her really poke somebody's eye out. Receive it now. <laughs> they made the Great Fairy way too hot in these games. Like my eight-year-old self wasn't ready to handle that. <laughs> Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in for a friend of mine who lives by Harold Castle. Yeah, she has the fire thing, which I think is required for the game. So let's try. There we go. So, take me back. 
and he drops you on top of one of the houses actually. I used to love this sequence as well. Get inside this house. Yeah. Put another piece of heart. How many school totals do I have? Five. I don't think that's enough, but let's have a look. I still need five more at least. I will get there eventually. Just want to get like the, um, the bigger wallets. Um, let's head over to Zelda's domain first. Uh, to Hyrule Castle, I mean, and then we go back to... Let's also do the Happy Mask uh, questline, or we're at it. I like how in most newer games you can't actually use the sword in the middle of the town, but in this game you can just do whatever. <laughs> to have like bomb here That's really messed up. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French fairies. I also love the uh, fairy edition of the Wind Waker, where they have like these little flower petals when they give you a spell. Yeah, so this mass side quest. Doing the mass side quest now. And I think I can actually walk through the gate now, I can also. How oh, pointless. <laughs> yeah, it's just to get back, you know. I 
think I still have to use the parcel for... Yeah, so here we have the key to the mask. I'll lend you a mask, you sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign like over there. Happy yourself, yeah. Have faith, sure. It's just let me. Uh, yeah, okay, so get the Keaton mask. I don't let you remember where to bring the second mask. <laughs> I know the first one is um, right in Kakariko. Let's just deliver the mask and then let's go to um, let's get to the next one. Right to Zora. Might be able to finish um, the first part. Maybe up to the dungeon even. Kinda looks like Pikachu, right? Keaton mask. Actually, it has to resemble a Kitsune or something. The Japanese. Um... Like the Japanese uh, Kitsune Ninetales of Fox. Why well, actually puts the thing down? I actually mispressed. <laughs> wow, blackmailing me, this guy. <laughs> so funny. I never actually selected an option. You earned a little profit. Yeah, but actually, I lose 10 rupees because I already had max rupees. So off to Zora's domain. I want to get the scale. We can dive deeper. Uh, catch a fish, I think. Bean salesman as well. What are you talking about Navi? Let's get some magic. Gotta get some bombs though. Up the bombs. Up the owl again. And stronger already. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, no uh, repeat trap this time, luckily. So, the bomb. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. 
So I actually used to be stuck here for quite some time. Yeah, I'm gonna get to you later, Navi. Come on. I used to be stuck here for quite some time until I realized you could, like, um, not be stupid. <laughs> you can actually jump across if you do it right. There we go. I didn't actually realize that first time around. So I was just waiting for the flower to spring, which um, you can get all the way up to the heart piece, I think, because you cannot get there yourself. I used to hate this part with the Octorox jumping up. Now I just skip it. This section looks so overwhelming as well. Let's jump here. And here you actually have the, Okuri the uh, Kakariko, uh, no, Kukiwi Forest uh, one. So, dun, 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 dun. Nintendo really showing off the camera angles, right? And there we have some of the fishies. Grab it. There we go. We get him. Um, I think I could do it like this. Don't do the stick. I don't think this is how it's supposed to go. It's okay. Yeah, now let's turn down. It's one. It's two. And then the ones at the bottom here. There we go. Heart piece, I think. So that leaves us an extra heart container. Da 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 da. Yeah. Great. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I need to find the bottle first. Um, let's first try and get the sure put all the rupees and I get a scale. Beautiful dive. Last one. So, probably we are going to enter Jabu Jabu today and then. Um, you gonna do Jabu Jabu next time. of the bottle. I think there was an alternative way to get the bottle as well. But I don't think you could get back without the skill that you could get the bottle. Something like that. I think this method is a bit faster, but I'm not sure. Also, the reason you get a ball before going here is so you can you don't have to go back down again. <laughs> Just a little time save there. One of the famous oink oink oink. Five hours later. <laughs> it takes so long. Somebody time that, please. I think there was also like a glitch where you could enter Jabu Jabu by touching like a certain part or something. That might have been as a dult link or something, I don't remember. We don't have to, we have like the ball on here.
Suck. Great suck. This freaked me out as a kid, you know? <laughs> okay, well, that's gonna be it for today. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next video. So please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video. This was Joey on Cylon Games and I hope to see you next time. Thank you as always. Goodbye.